Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Little Boy, released in the year 2015. The movie is set in the seaside town of O'Hare, California. It is the 1940s when O'Hare was nothing but a sleepy fishing village with a hill on the edge of the main street. An eight-year-old boy named Pepper Flint Busby lives in O'Hare with his family. Pepper's family consists of his father James, mother Emma, and elder brother London. Pepper is physically small for his age, because of which he is often teased by his classmates. The only consolation he has in his life is his loving father, James. Pepper has a very close relationship with James, which began from the very moment he was born. When James cradled Pepper in his arms, he swiftly noticed how small he was. To make him look taller and feel better about himself, James always lends him his adult boots. James also used to tell him about magician Ben Eagle and his famous quote, You believe you can do this. When Pepper is taken to a doctor to ascertain if he has dwarfism, the doctor tells him, For now, Pepper, let's just say you're a little boy. This expression would go on to become Pepper's nickname. Soon, the World War begins, and his elder brother becomes old enough to be drafted into the military to fight the ongoing World War II. James drives Pepper and London to the city to the army recruitment process. As London goes through physical and psychological examinations, James takes Pepper to watch anti-Japanese propaganda movies. Soon, London's results come in, and he's declared ineligible for military service because of flat feet. As a result, James joins in his place, which devastates Pepper. Several months pass by, and London looks after his father's garage shop. Pepper takes money from his brother to buy boots just like his father and tickets to the Ben Eagle show. Meanwhile, an army representative brings the news that Pepper's father has gone missing in action. This devastates Pepper, and to cheer him up, London takes him to the Ben Eagle show. After London leaves halfway through the show, Eagle selects Pepper to be a volunteer in one of his acts. Pepper hesitates when Eagle asks him to move a bottle on a table, but with enough encouragement, Pepper manages to move the bottle and wow the audience. At a church service, Pepper hears the Bible verse, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Matthew 17:20. Amazed, Baby Pepper steals a mustard seed from a convenience store, thinking he could get enough faith from it to bring his father home. At the store, he encounters a local Japanese man named Hashimoto, and immediately assumes him to be his enemy. Pepper runs to inform his brother who's talking to a man named Sam. They return to the store, and London tries to confront the man, but Father Oliver intervenes and sends Hashimoto back home after paying for his goods. Afterwards, Sam privately provokes the two Busby brothers into attacking Hashimoto's home. At night, they hurl rocks at his window and try to set his house on fire. However, they fail because London trips with the lighter due to his flat feet. London is arrested, while Emma takes Pepper to Father Oliver to talk some sense into him. Pepper tells Father about the mustard seed, and the Father explains to him that faith is useless to anyone who harbors hatred. He gives the boy a list of things to accomplish to make his faith stronger, which includes feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, visiting those in prison, visiting the sick, and befriending Hashimoto. Pepper initially opposes the last item, but eventually concedes and goes over to Hashimoto's home to apologize to him by offering him a bottle of soda. However, Pepper calls him Jap, and Hashimoto throws the soda in the bin. When Pepper returns back to Oliver, he advises him to hang out with Hashimoto. The little boy tries again, and this time, Hashimoto takes him into town. They get ice cream, and Pepper inadvertently tells the old man about Oliver's list. Afterwards, Hashimoto pays Oliver a visit, and cautions him against messing with the little boy's mind. However, Oliver insists that he means no harm, and advises the little boy to continue hanging out with Hashimoto before leaving town for two weeks. Later, Pepper pays his brother a visit in prison, and the latter disapproves of the former's list. Afterwards, Pepper's bullies chase him in the market, but Hashimoto rescues him. The next day, Pepper seeks Hashimoto's help in completing the rest of his list. Hashimoto agrees and takes the little boy to meet his army friend, who got fatally injured in the war. 
On Hashimoto's advice, Pepper also gives a homeless man named Teacup shelter in his home after convincing his mother. With Hashimoto's help, Pepper finishes the list in no time and he becomes really good friends with him. Meanwhile, Pepper's pediatrician, Dr. Fox, who is also the father of Pepper's bully, tries to hit on Emma and invites himself over to the house that evening under the pretext of talking about what could possibly be the cause of Pepper's short stature. Fox also uses his connections to get London out of jail to win Emma over. After dinner, Pepper catches Fox's son snooping around his home and calls him out. The bully doubles down on his actions and slams Pepper on the ground before walking away with the list. The next day, Pepper tells Hashimoto about the incident. Hashimoto advises him to bring the list back, but the little boy brings up his short height. To give him courage, Hashimoto tells him about a samurai who was short in height, but tall in bravery. The samurai was weak and powerless until the Mongols invaded Japan. One by one, all Japanese soldiers were executed and the samurai was forced to take on the ruthless Mongols. The invaders easily overpowered the samurai, but the latter used his brain to defeat them. After reading a book containing pictures of samurai fighting styles, Pepper goes over to challenge his bully to a fight. When the bully walks up to him, Pepper initially trembles in fear. But when the bully tears the list, little Pepper loses it and calls him a fat, motherless pig. Enraged, the bully shoves the little boy into the ground. A crowd of children cheer the bully until Pepper gets up and knocks him over with his bag, much to everyone's astonishment. Afterwards, Pepper invites Hashimoto over to his home for dinner. This shocks Emma initially, but Pepper tells her that he's his friend and wants to have dinner with him. Emma respects his wishes and welcomes Hashimoto into her home. As Hashimoto tells Emma about Japan over dinner, London arrives home. London is shocked, but strangely, he goes to his room without saying anything. However, London soon returns with a rifle and threatens to shoot Hashimoto. Emma tries to intervene, but London makes Hashimoto leave at gunpoint. Afterwards, London warns his mother that a Jap will not eat at his father's table. Upset, Pepper yells at his elder brother, saying their father had to go to war because London couldn't. The next day, London and Sam encounter Pepper hanging out with Hashimoto again. London creates a scene and makes fun of Pepper for believing that he can bring their father back. However, Pepper insists he can move a mountain with faith as small as a mustard seed. Frustrated and amused, London challenges his little brother to move the nearby mountain. Hashimoto advises him against accepting the challenge, saying London just wants to humiliate him. But Pepper accepts the dare. The crowd that had gathered around them laugh at the little boy, until an earthquake strikes and the mountain moves. Pepper is vindicated and the crowd disperses in fear and astonishment. Word about Pepper moving the mountain quickly spreads through the town. Pepper also gets a letter from the White House informing him that in order for all U.S. soldiers to return home, the war must end. Equipped with this information, Pepper visits Hashimoto again and asks him where Japan's located. Hashimoto tells him that Japan is located at the point where the sun touches the sea, but he also tells him the truth about his power. Discouraged, Pepper asks if he should stop, and Hashimoto advises him to keep doing what makes sense to him. Meanwhile, Emma takes a loan from Fox after coming really close to losing James's shop to the bank. This further agitates London, and he accuses her of dolling up for Fox. However, Emma tearfully reveals that she's dolled up because it's James and her marriage anniversary. Father Oliver also returns back to town, and Hashimoto again tries to convince him to get Pepper to stop, but without success. Pepper continues to try and get the war between the US and Japan to stop. People again doubt him in the beginning, but Pepper does it again and stops the war using his power of faith. The US has dropped nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Pepper is initially excited, but later panics when he learns that James possibly could have fallen victim to the bomb. It's believed that James has been killed. Meanwhile, London again gets in trouble for beating up Hashimoto with Sam. Sam runs away before the police arrive, leaving London to take the fall. However, Hashimoto doesn't press any charges against London, and he is released from prison. 
London is amazed by Hashimoto's kindness and he starts to see air in his ways. After becoming convinced that James has passed away, Emma organizes a memorial service in his memory. Hashimoto also goes to the memorial service to pay his respects. Afterwards, Pepper and Hashimoto sit on a bench and discuss their mutual losses of family and believing in something. Pepper goes back to the cemetery to visit his father's grave and place the list on top of his grave marker. Dr. Fox continues to pursue Emma, but she firmly tells him that she'll always be Mrs. James Busby. Later that day, a spokesperson from the army arrives to tell her that her husband didn't die after all. The man that actually died had stolen Pepper's father's boots with his dog tags attached to the laces, so he was misidentified as Pepper's father. Hearing this, the family becomes delighted, and they immediately leave town to visit James in the hospital. Pepper carries the boot that he had bought for his dad after he went off to war. It's revealed that James had been eyeing the boots for some time. Upon arriving, they realize that James had suffered from mild amnesia due to an injury to the head. However, Pepper calls his father by his longtime nickname, Partner, and presents him his gift. James holds the boots, then hugs Pepper and touches the faces of the rest of his family. They all kneel around his chair and share a group hug before driving him back to O'Hare. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.